Right then, so we all we all master of zoomed. Right, cool. Um, so this is the end of should be the end of the video. Um, I'm trying to. I'm looking for something that is like I don't know orange or something. Nah, you can see. If you can't see, let me know. Then I'll I will do something. I did have the finger sticks, but they're in a box. <laughs> I am going through the boxes, so they will not. I will not be able to use that excuse soon. But any road, um, let me just turn the screen so I can see what you can see. There we go. So, um, this bit was done. This bit with little grommets. The grommets are going to come out. There's a bit missing there. Actually, let's talk about what was gone on. So, put a block across the top of this and then stack that up to make sure that we have this and this surface these two surfaces in line with each other. I am going to be moving everything around, so all that junk that's there needs to go into the bin. The SV and the ER5 are going to get moved over there, and stuff, not that you need to know, stuff is going to get moved so we can have the main bench, my, my, my bar, or that back thing as a background, and we can put this basically pointing this way instead of this way, that, so we're not near the door and all the rest of it. So I can get a wider shot and it looks prettier. Um, any road, so take that off there. The whole thing was, if I remember in this video, this is the only problem I've got with this, is that we've just tack welded this together down there, that seam, and then I've done this. I cut this in half. Um, I don't know if this is the best angle. Right, that's all really noisy. So it's probably better if see if this works. If I just chuck that over, that's all this noisy background. That helped, didn't it? This is a big scrap pile of shit I need to chuck away. Obviously that's like scrap. Is that helping? I don't know. I don't know. Any road. I'm halfway through turning benches into benches and all sorts of stuff, so there's loads of crap everywhere. Is that better? <laughs> the focus, you'd have thought the focus would help, but whatever. So, this knitted together, so that needs finish welding. It's just tacked. Everything's just tacked just in case I want to move stuff. Then we did this. This is too big, and you might have noticed I cut this notch out here. The reason why is that it had that weird curve and if you if you have a curve it's fine but if you have like half a curve and it looks horrible so i've cut a square out of there and i'm going to get a little plate put it in there from the material removed and put a little radius in there and, and block it off nicely so i'll do that 
This has been tacked on and I sandblasted, I didn't do it on this like a retard, I've sandblasted the inside of that so I don't have to worry about so much about paint. Again, all tacked on. We're going to cap these off. I think I've got a really, really clever solution for that that's just fun. And then we've got this X brace in here. And the reason why there's a gap there is because I want to actually put a plate in there with something. I'll, I'll, I won't say any more, but yeah, there's going to be a plate that goes in there that stitches the two together. One, once I've, I've run out of time, once I've finished this little, bow, little dicky bow tie kind of thing with something in there, um, then this can all come off and it'll get finished welded. And then that'll be that pretty much done and dusted. Um, it'll be as stiff as a stiff thing. Um, and then you'll be able to see it come off. That's the next thing. Then we're going to deal slightly and very quickly with the rear suspension um, setup. We're going to have a little play with that. And then it's on to the front end. So this will be pretty much... We're not finished. So what I'll do is I'll just weld up the all these bits. Just weld all these bits up so they're solid. And then once they're welded up, um, the next thing to do will be, um, there's loads more to actually go on this, and I'll explain as we go, but I've got the light. Now, someone sent me this and some fairing bits, and basically the, the back end of a bike, and um, we won't mention what kind of bike this is off, because we won't, but going about there-ish, see it's got these little standoffs, little grommets, um, stuff like that you see you have to put them on to put them on so something like this if you get what I mean um, that's kind of what we're aiming for and kind of I say something like this hopefully this someone sent me this a long long time ago thank you very much dude for sending me this so it's going to go about there like that probably a bit further out because we're going to have to miss what we're putting here um, and that's like I say that's going to sit there like that that'll be the tail and then, or oh, it might go, it probably go a tiny bit further out. Um, I know you can't see it very well. You're just going to have to bear with me. Um, don't give all your tricks away at once, Matt. Um, so, yeah, the tail should, the, the seat, because obviously we've got the tank on here, the seat should basically stop about here. And then we'll have a little bit and then literally a seat there. I do have a seat kicking around, but it's not the seat I want to use. It actually is the seat that goes with this light. That's not the seat I want to use. Um, the other seat, eh, it's it's in a box. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so quickly talking about what happened, because that's why I've, I've got to get my head around. So it was making sure, making a template that goes across the top of these, and then basically comparing this side to this side, making them the same, all wonderful. Then blocking that up and then measuring the distance from here to here with, with the actual set square. After that, bending these tubes to make sure these tubes are the same, because I want them just to be aesthetically the same. Not that you'll ever see them, I just want them to be the same. I could possibly have made them longer so they touch, and then if they actually touch too much, you just cut up an oval in them and then they'll overlap. Could have done that, but I actually want to put something in there. I've got two... There's two things I wanted to do, and I can't remember mind which one I'm doing, so it, it doesn't really make any difference, really, structurally or anything. It just knits these two together. So it's kind of structural, but this thing's stiff enough for what it is. It's tiny. Um, yeah, so to bend the tubes, I bent the tubes on the old jobby bender and then marked it out with a bit of masking tape, put one, drew around it crudely, <laughs> found the middle of that, did the same with the other one, marked the middle, so these centres, these centres line up with this, the line on the shock. Um, and I think... No, this shot, yeah, that, the mounting is in the middle of the swing arm. Um, so all this lines up, which is nice. And then um, use the rotor brush. And I, hopefully I've got a video of me. You nibble a bit, you come over and test fit it. You nibble a bit, you test fit it, you nibble a bit. Because we're talking, this is, these bars are going, the bottom bars are coming in slightly. The top bars obviously do this bend out so they bulge out pain massive pain in the ass now i know someone's going to say hang about you've got this barrier this barrier and then this thing in the top because this isn't structural this is just to um 
well, it's somewhere to put your seat and mount everything in your ass. There's also these two points here we can use, or we can go straight off the frame. A lot of bikes actually do have seats. The SV is a good example. Ah, the SV seat. I wonder if that's a good example. I've got to step over the cable. I've stopped using batteries from that bloody camera because they keep on bloody running out. <coughs> bloody yell fire. And that's there. So, see this thing, it's not far off actually. And even then, with this thing sat on there, the tank used, oh you can't see it. I'll tell you what, I'll show you in the next video with the tank on, with the seat on. And you'd have a, a little tail, a little tiny thing. That's actually not far off. Um, but what my plan is, is to make a seat base and then pad the whole thing out and cover it, same kind of stuff. So a fiberglass, a seat base, something very similar to this with these, see the, the SV, it bolts down there and then it's got these little clips that go under the fairing and it just sits on the frame, just blocks like that. So, although this doesn't do that. Um, the middle, actually, that buffer there actually sits on the middle of this. Will we use all these holes? So there's a, a, a nut there. There's two nuts here. Will these holes slot stuff like that? Will we use them? <laughs> Don't know. Um, little things like that, like wire routing and stuff, there's no plan for. That would be a good one there because you get a grommet in there. These two pads... I just put them back in just to show you that that's what it was. It was the thing off the seat, but I don't think we're going to... Well, we might, we might mount that there. I don't know. It depends. There is an overall plan, an overall design. There isn't this specifically goes there and 66 millimetres that goes there. and There's none of that going on. Um, you know, I have what I want to do, and I'm just going to do it, so... This is it so far. We will literally, um, yeah, just crack on. Anyway, oh, that makes sense. It's tea time for me. It is half past eight. Um, oh, that makes sense. And uh, oh, we're also going to do some stuff to the tank. That'll be quite cool. So you're going to see some uh, tank molestation. It doesn't mean though that we're just going to start chopping up tanks and adding them to the bike. <laughs> That's would be stupid. Oh, that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.